This article addresses the question that has been um, asked a lot in organization theory, and that is, is it beneficial or detrimental for an organization to have a high reputation, especially in light of a negative event? In the context of this study, we're specifically looking at U.S. colleges and universities. We define high reputation institutions in our paper as having a general public recognition or positive approval. We measure this general perception of social approval and positivity as U.S. News and World Report rankings. How do alumni and non-alumni react to announcements of their school's engagement in an NCAA scandal? The theoretical idea behind the study was that not all stakeholders react in the same way to the same scandal. People long to have meaning and connection in their lives. And that's what we were studying is people who were connected to the organization and how that created in them a different decision-making process and it was uh, much more emotional for them. So the key takeaway of the article is um, presented in a graph and what that graph shows is that top 50 universities see an increase in alumni donations and decrease in non-alumni donations. So if I were to illustrate it, if we, if we see on the y-axis um, the dollar donations to universities and colleges, and on the x-axis if we see the magnitude of wrongdoing or the number of legislative references each university is engaged in, we see this inverted U from alumni. So they increase their support and then there's an inflection point after which the alumni, alumni support decreases. But if we look at non-alumni donations, the trend is different. And what we see is that they start immediately withdrawing their donations and the, and the trend goes this way. So what we're seeing is that high reputation is a benefit when we discuss highly identifying stakeholders or alumni. And it's a burden when we think of uh, low identification stakeholders or non-alumni. So the big takeaways of the study and probably generalizable to other industries um, are twofold. One, that you need to keep your loyal customers loyal to you because they are the ones who rally around the organization in, light, in, in times of trouble. So if the organization is engaged in wrongdoing, it's the loyal, it's the highly identifying stakeholders that will actually support you, at least in the beginning. The second takeaway is that organizations that are not engaged in any wrongdoing actually are better off at the end. My name is Anastasia Zavyalova. I am an assistant professor in the strategy and environment area at the Rice Business School.